Welcome to Caffeine Kilos Warehouse. I'm Danny Lear. We got Dean Storrs here. Yo. And welcome to the first installment of How to Brew It. Is that my brew? Is that my brew? Alright. A like working a working title. Nah. It's a working is, title. We just I didn't know we were doing more of these. We're doing more. Okay. We're doing more. <laughs> we're gonna do uh, so today in the first installment of uh What's what's that brew? Or how's what's that brew? Wait, this how this is how it? we brew it. This is how we brew it. This is how we brew it. All right, so um, this is how we brew it today uh, from the Captain Keels Warehouse. We're gonna talk about AeroPress. AeroPress is fun uh, for a couple reasons. One, it has the name AeroPress, which just sounds like it's uh, like there's a lot going on there. Two, come this little bag here, which kind of reminds me like maybe if you have a previous life and. In a kind of underworld, like get you like like drug kit or something, you know. Hobag, I mean? hobag, like a hobag. Hobag. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's like your hobo bag. Your hobo bag. <laughs> All right. So you get to a hobo bag here, and so the AeroPress is a great job of making a nice sm a smooth kind of espresso like. And part of the reason it's so smooth, it doesn't heat up the water till it's over boiling, any of that type of thing. You just add water that you can have the exact temperature and all that type of stuff, and it comes out in a nice uh, smooth espresso. All right. Cool. Can right, you do cold right coffee learning? with it? Uh, I, no, I wouldn't do cold coffee with it because the the hot water because it, it goes quickly. When you cold oh. brew, it has to sit for a long time That's to true. extract everything out of the beans. So you can't do it. You can't use a AeroPress as like a quick cold brew. You could, you could, but it wouldn't be that good. So I do actually quite a bit. So what I do because it only makes uh, just like a couple shots of espresso. Mm -hmm. um, so what I'll do is I'll make it. It is quick. It's a very quick way of making coffee. Just a couple minutes. And then um, you have four ounces of espresso, so you just throw ice in with that, and then boom, instant okay, cold so you, you, you coffee. You do it hot. And you do it hot. Ice. You do it hot. You hit it hot, then wet. It. It's the hot wet combo. Tail old as time. Perfect. All right. So this is what we got going on. Um, and also, you don't dirty a bunch of dishes because you got like mug. That. So I'm gonna be coffee in this mug. There we go. So you take out your little kit here. Got a little plunger on this end. Uh, this side over here. And then what you need is you need a little filter. And when you buy them, they come with like hundreds of these little filters. So with these kits, so okay, I got okay. Doubles, right. multi-purpose. You got an eye patch here. Mm -hmm. You it know, looks like one of those like uh, cleansing wipes. Yeah, acne wipes. Oxypad. Yeah. Probably don't use that one. Yeah. All or, right. Or do we? Or maybe, or maybe we do a little oil finish. <laughs> <laughs> a little uh, TPC oil. What's it called? Uh, uh, MCT oil. MCT oil. <laughs> and you ooze. I eat so much coconut. I actually ooze MCT yeah. oil. Great for your skin, it's supposed to be. Smooth. So you just pop the little filter on there, screw that bad boy on, done deal. Twist on, it's a twist. Twist on. on, just twist right on there. Okay. And then uh, that just goes on top of the mug. That's easy, easy enough. Easy enough, fits right on there. How much does like a pack of those filters run? Like a thousand be, of them for five bucks? To be honest, I don't even know. Like it came with, you know, whatever, like a thousand of them or something like that. Yeah. And then you can buy, yeah, it's probably five dollars for probably at every grocery lifetime store supply. Them. Yeah. Yeah, I think I just bought them online. I haven't honestly. I bought this probably four years ago. I don't think I bought more. Really? You know what I mean? Because I bought like an extra pack with it, or it came one and done. Pack. It only lasts one. One time. and done, just like a coffee filter, but it's only this big. Yeah. So you're saving waste for the environment as well. That's good. Yeah. That's good. So then uh, it comes a little scooper here. If you use it or not, that's up to you. Uh, we just ground this freshly ground beans, and to be honest, we don't even that. know what kind of coffee that is. We're doing some sampling for some possible upcoming products, and so we. Uh, I just ground that up. We've never actually tasted oh, man, this coffee. Smells good. It smells really good. I like that. I like how it's kind of like a light, light roast. Uh, black, no, 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 black bag. Oh, black bag. Oh, black bag. Black bag. Okay. So mm -hmm. this is the uh, owner's choice. Owner's choice. So then it comes with a little scooper, and it's basically one of these for every shot of espresso. And it's got a little numbers on here: one, two, three, four. That's what we see. Okay. Um, that's for water levels, different stuff. And so uh, you can do different ways. You can just scoop out ground if you have pre-ground coffee, um, or what I generally do is I. Uh, I grind it to order, so I'll just scoop the beans, whatever four scoops, or if you kind of know where it's at, if your whole thing's full, you just make it so it makes basically like four shots of espresso. So if you want the most fresh flavor, freshly grounded beans is the way to go, and fresh as opposed beans. to, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you buy grounds, they are fresh, but not nearly as fresh if you were right. to do the beans. Right, and, and so- That's why we offer both, because we have people that like it both ways. Some people like to grind, some people don't deal Either with way, it. Either way, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, some people don't deal with it. So the reason why the, the ground, uh, when you, or the whole bean tastes fresher, it's a surface area thing. Mm -hmm. So when it's ground up, all that area of the, of the coffee that's exposed to air, obviously mm -hmm. if you can smell it, it's off-gassing a little bit, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So the it's losing smell some of the moisture. The flavor isn't contracted in, or trapped inside it's of the bean. Not trapped inside, it's gonna lose some moisture. Sure, it's yeah. gonna dry out a little bit, whereas the whole beans, all of everything that's not exposed to the elements mm -hmm. is Fresh. not exposed to the elements. Right. So 
Uh, so we can do different ways. You know, you can scoop it out if you want. Okay, we got uh, the old one. I'm usually not real exact with this because, like I said, I just kind of grind it and then dump it in there. Three, you know, four. So there we go. There's four scoops. So we got that going. It actually comes with a little uh, little filter thing on top too. Yeah, no so we've got time for that. If you got well, if you're if you're in a, in a bigger thing or like a bigger container or something like that, you don't want to spill it all over your wife's up your ass for getting Ramble coffee all over. Tables. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, I get it. So that's kind of what that's for. I don't really use that very often, to be honest, either. Okay. Um, and then, what's this? Oh, if you're using espresso, if you have like the little cups, the yeah. little handles, you can put those in there, and this can actually pop sits right on here. Oh, wow. Right? That way, if you use your little espresso mug, whatever. Oh, wow. Right? Very but nice. But I don't do that. I just use a mug like an adult, so that's kind of yeah. unnecessary also. Yeah. It comes with extra parts, spare parts. I, I like the little espresso cup. Yeah, it's actually kind of convenient if you use little cups. Oh, here we go. Right. Oh, there's one. There we go. NorCal CrossFit. Thank you, Jason Kalipa, for J this. Just kidding. We do actually need this. All right. Yeah, so this slide right in there. Perfect fit. This pops on as well. And then right right in there. Just juice it straight in. All right. That's cool. Yeah. But again. I'm actually surprised they thought about that. They thought about it. Let's put that with our little mug line. Yeah. Line it up. Line it up. Is that in up. the frame? Oh, yeah. It's in there. All right. Man behind the camera that doesn't exist. Is that in the frame? <laughs> All right. So here we go. And but uh, Okay. So. Back to this. So then what you do is you just have hot water, however you get your, hot, your water hot. Whether that be from uh, maybe you got a little kettle. Microwave. Or, or a microwave. Or if you just happen to have hot water just sitting right under the table. Well, you know what I mean? And that's, that's convenient also. It's not urine. Well, it's a, it's a mixture. It's like 50-50. Right. It's right. my own blend. Got it. You know what I mean? That's, uh, this is how I brew it. If you're, if you're well <laughs> hydrated, then it's the same thing. Same thing. Same, water World, Kevin Costner, that guy was just hammering it down. Was he? Yeah, he put it through like a little filter thing. But how much is that filter really doing? It's, it's just movie movie stuff. Movie stuff. Yeah. The filter's fake. Obviously, drinking your own urine. Yeah. Real. Okay. I, heard, I heard that he actually used his own urine for that. Really? He was just drinking it. Really? No. Oh, you should have said, yeah. <laughs> I heard that. It was on an uh, interview on E. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Seems legit. Seems legit. So you just pour it in there. Um, so one thing to do is again, it has these little numbers on there. So if you know you want, um, you know, so that's kind of how many, how high to fill the w with water, whatever, you know. Also, those numbers correspond are on here. So what you could do, what they would suggest, is if we want four, whatever, we would actually pour into this first. So you, so you get the, the correct amount. You match the number here with right. the number here. So how much hot water do you want, basically, is the type of thing, right? Got it. Um, you could do that, or uh, you know what else? If uh, what I do is I go full boat, no boat, I just figure I'm just gonna fill it until it's not, you know, until it's full. Okay. But I don't wanna fill it too much because it might foam a little, you know? Okay. So you just kinda pour it in there uh, until it's, oh, look at that, it's, things are happening, things are happening. Perfect, Perfect right four. at four, because I measured out ahead of time. All right? Well, don't need these, I'm not gonna throw them, because uh, you gotta come back ceramic, to that. right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Now this, now it's in there. You're supposed to, uh, did I lose it? Sometimes it has a little stirring stick. Must have fallen out at home. And so it has a little stirring stick. You kind of, boop. Oh, here we go. Give it a little well for me. Use a hand. It actually comes with one that kind of helps get off the yeah, edges. Oh, here we go. But, oh, we got actual stirring. They co it comes with one that's uh, really convenient. I'm not sure where it's at. Um, so but just, they don't leave anything out. They don't leave anything out. No, get a little stirring sticks, get a little what for, you know what I mean? And no, this is not sponsored by AeroPress. It's just a product no. that we like and I use it. it's useful. All right, done with that. And then uh, you're going to plunge it through. So you're going to get a little water on the plunger, push so it a little wet, easier. You wet the plunger. Yeah, so lube it up and it slides right in. So, okay, so we're also, but if it's too dry, it'll just stick to the sides. Yeah, like that? yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can do it dry, you yeah. know what I mean? But it's usually it's a little better, better if it slides, just you know? A little, a little, it's just a better experience. Got it. If it just kind of slides right in. Lot, yeah, a lot more, uh, a lot more precise. Yep, and then you just push through. Oh, I can hear it. You hear it happening. Man, we should use the clear mug next time. Yeah, next time. Wow. And so you put in the idea, you want to do constant pressure, so you get like the constant pushing through. So no through. sudden pressure stopping. Yeah, ah, ah, ah. yeah, you want to try and keep it all easy as she goes, as they say. Really? I don't know who they are, but that's what they say. Yeah. Right, okay. So then that's that's done, it's through there. Um, and oh, oh, look at that foam, like espresso foam. Eh? Wow. Espresso foam on there, if you want, you can wipe it, whatever, it's just foam. Now, cleanup for this is actually pretty easy. Um, if we had a garbage can, I'll show you how we're gonna clean this puppy too. And so that's it, it's done. Brew's done, it goes pretty quick. And then, <laughs> thank you, floating garbage can. So then to clean this off. Oh, we're not in frame when we're standing. Oh, there we go. Garbage can, you just hold it between your legs like everybody does. 
on this little end cap, you just take off that little end, just rinse it off in the water. This one right here, just oops. finish it off. There we go. And then all of the grounds and the filter are straight and now they're gone. No, I don't even see any stuck in the thing. No, because the, the plunger fits really it's clean. So, it's so snug that it just literally grabs every grain. It grabs every grain in there. Wow. And so then just I just take this, run this under the sink, and you actually store it like this. So you don't need to take it back out and risk getting grains back in it. Done deal. Just rinse it right here, and I'll just rinse this off, rinse this off, and then boom, goes right back into your uh, right back into your hobo bag. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Done deal. Boom. Ready to rock. Well, let's enjoy this. Let's give it enjoy, a Enjoy. Give it, give, it give it a whirl. So do you mix, can you mix this with water if you want? Right. Because uh, this is just straight espresso Just straight right espresso. Now. So, so it's like, so if you cream. mix it with hot water, it'd be an Americano, like a hot Americano. Yeah. Or if you just mix it with cold milk water. Milk for a latte. Milk for a latte. Steam yep. milk for a cappuccino. Steam milk for a cappuccino. That's good. That's strong. Let me, I'm going to drink That's it. That's same. Same side. Oh. Same side bros. Yeah, same. <laughs> it's kind of like Blood Brothers, like Spit Bros. Yeah, Spit, Spit Bros. Spit Bros. Spit bros. I'm just gonna call them Shankle Bros. Shankle Bros. <laughs> Someone's gonna hear that and be taff. Yeah, probably. That's a good brew. That's good. That one's really good. So the other one's gonna be hard to beat. I'm gonna we be got how many more samples? Uh, like, like six. Six samples? Get that one's gonna be up. hard to beat. Yeah. Charlie. Come Charlie, pop in, pop in the frame, give it a sample. Bring her, bring her on back. Backside it. Just go to their instincts. Backside it, give it a go. That's switch side. You're going to need to get down if you want to get in that frame. Yes. <laughs> there, let's kneel down. It's, uh, what's it called when the Smirnoff? Smirnoff. Ice. Smirnoff, yeah. When you ice somebody and they have to take a knee and slam the Smirnoff? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good, huh? That was good. But it's it's smooth, and so that's... So that's very smooth. The reason why we're going to use the AeroPress, actually, for most of these samples, a lot of people talk about the best way to make coffee. A lot of people think it's a French press. That's pretty common. French press uh, is because is it's smooth. That's why they like it. Same thing with the AeroPress. It makes it really smooth um, because it, the water doesn't get so hot that it burns through the coffee and that type of thing. You can heat the water up. And they actually give you directions when you get the AeroPress, like what they think is ideal temperature. I think it's like 170, 150 or 170. So same thing if you really want to get into it. You, what I, so what I did at my house is I just figured out, like I did it once. I got water, I knew, okay, if it's this amount of water, I put it in the microwave, test the temperature, and I knew. So in my microwave at home, if it goes like a minute and 40 seconds, then that's gonna be the right temperature to make it. So actually, so that's pretty much, it makes me, takes me two minutes to use it, because first thing I do, boom, water in there, throw in the microwave, set it up for that minute 40, and then while that's heating up, I just, boom, get the ground beans, pop them in there so it's all set, microwave, ding, pop Perfect. it open, Drop it in. Done deal. Press it through. Awesome. Well, thanks, guys. I hope you liked the show. Uh, we're going to do some more with some other types of brewing systems, and uh, we'll see you next time. This is how we brew it. This is how we brew it. This is how we brew it. Brew it. This is how we brew it. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm here with this week's drop. Today, this week, we got the men's indigo movement tea with the gray font, capping kilos, the lifestyle, the movement USA on our 6040 blended shirts uh, available in sizes small through 3xl uh, so a full size one on these uh, perfect shirt for in and out of the gym you know uh, favorite cutaway of ours honestly that we came out with so far so uh, yeah pick them up on captainkeels.com <laughs>